continue on and show you some of the things that we're going to be using to make string art. This is what we're using as our backboard, our actual canvas in a way uh, today. You can use an actual piece of plywood or any kind of wood. That's the dimension that you'd like. It could be something that will fit into a frame in the future if you're making something specific. Um, a lot of times people make them as an actual piece of art involved in a painting and they'll have uh, canvas and things with sails on a ship and the strings will be in the sails and we'll get into that later. I found something kind of funky today and it looked like it might be a lot of fun to use as our string. We'll see what happens with that. But the first thing you really need is to ha have some string. And if you're just doing it for practice or doing it for fun, you can actually use real string. White string in a ball, it doesn't matter. You can use yarn, you can use decorative actual strings and threads as long as they're thick enough. And um, you'll see as you start to play with it what, what you want to use. You'll be happier with one thing or another. I have a ruler that we will use to create our design because they have to be I won't say exactly perfect, but it sure does help when you get into some of the more intricate, detailed designs. We're just doing a beginner's today. A pencil. And we're using push pins today. So we can push into our cork board, whereas something we'll talk about in the next segment is uh, nails, actual brass, copper, goldish colored, very tall, very large headed nails. And we'll talk about things like that as we go. Watch our next segment and we'll show you how we're going to prepare our board to, to come up with uh, a design.